In our Spotlight on Business report, more and more workers in the cannabis industry are unionizing. And labor organizers are hoping to keep the trend going as the industry continues expanding in New Jersey. But as Melissa Rose Cooper reports, it's not always an easy road. Well, pretty much we went from being kind of at the mercy and uh, discretion of our employer to actually kind of taking uh, the workplace in our own hands. Good feeling for Antonio Melendez Mott, who works as a butt tender for the botanist. Melendez Mott was instrumental in helping voice concerns of his fellow co-workers as part of the local union. And in June, members of United Food and Commercials Union 152 negotiated a three-year agreement calling for increased pay and better health benefits for employees at the botanist locations in Egg Harbor and Atlantic City. We are a unit of work Workers. We do want, you know, we want certain rights, we want certain wages, and we want to be able to build upon that so that in 10 years, you know, people are looking back and you're saying, you know, we actually have a career out of this. It's not just like a job that people come in and out of. We actually have something where people can be 20, 30 years down the line and happy with and satisfied and can take care of a family. This comes as more workers in the cannabis industry push to be unionized, an initiative that's crucial, according to past president of the New Jersey Cannabis Association, Edmund DeVoe. Uh, there's always a concern that uh, when you organize labor, when you have unions uh, in, in the workplace, uh, that the cost of doing business is actually increased. That has always been a concern of, of businesses uh, not just in New Jersey, but but across the country. And so when you look at that and you look at these new businesses, I don't really think that there's a better way of making sure that you create standards by which uh, employees should be treated. Curaleaf, the state's largest cannabis supplier, now has unions present at all of its stores. Members at its location in Bordentown just recently voted for unionization, more than two months after the Cannabis Regulatory Commission rejected Curaleaf's request to renew its recreational marijuana license. The CRC cited a number of concerns, including an apparent layoff announcement that was made before the information was provided to the commission. But just days later, the CRC reversed the decision. Um, so now all three Cure Leaf retail facilities are represented by the United Food and Commercial Workers Union, the UFCW. Um, and, you know, look, it's it's a long path. You know, at the end of the day, the workers have to want it. Um, and at the end of the day, the workers have to look at themselves and say, hey, I'm worth a good wage. Hey, I'm worth good benefits. Um, and we're just here helping them get to that end goal. A Curaleaf spokesperson confirming the company respects the rights of workers choosing to be in a union, saying in a statement, the company pursues an honest, business-like approach in working with those representatives. Curaleaf is currently engaged in good faith bargaining with UFCW for a collective bargaining agreement to represent the team members at those three dispensary locations. I mean, it's really hard to say that you can commit to a 30-year mortgage per se, because if you have, if you work in a right to work, work state, although it sounds appealing, it is not. It basically means that, you know, under any circumstance at any time you could be let go. So to make a financial commitment, whether any kind of financial commitment, really, you can't really rely on the stability um, that the job will always be present. And what unionization does, it actually provides that comfort and access that will allow you to make this decision, feel comfortable, relieve some of that stress that you may not, you know, you're unsure of your job or your position. Another step to ensuring continued stability as the cannabis industry grows. For NJ Spotlight News, I'm Melissa Rose Cooper.